Oh, hey, would you want to learn how to make these amazing, amazing protein shake recipes? Well, you're in luck. Keep watching because I'm going to show you how to make the berry-tastic delight. It's so good. We got a beautiful pumpkin pie and, oh, the one I couldn't help but not drink because it's so good because I need to drink it. I think that was proper English. I don't know. I'm just too excited. Chocolate peanut butter. So if you want to learn how to make it, keep watching. Hit subscribe now and let's learn how to make these beauties. They smell good. They taste good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go. All right, are you ready for your first protein shake recipe? This one's awesome. Actually, it's perfect for summer. It's getting warm here in Wisconsin. I'm ready for it. It is called the Berry-tastic mm, shake. So you gotta do the Berry-tastic mm, shake, or you know, you don't have to. But anyway, here's what's inside all the good stuff. All right, first thing, one cup overheating of ice. That was hard. One cup of milk. Now I'm using an almond coconut milk mix. You can use whatever, right? Maybe regular milk, maybe almond milk, coconut, oat milk, I don't care. But milk of some kind makes it creamier, so good. Then we're gonna add in our berries. Now, our berries are mixed. Now what I did is I have half a frozen straw, or strawberry, half a frozen banana. That's what these things are called, bananas. Half a frozen banana. So what I do is I take a banana, I split it into quarters, Put it in a plastic bag, keep it in the freezer. There's a pro tip for you. Pro tip! Freeze the bananas. Helps it, right? Need a little less uh, ice cubes. And then you can have frozen fruit if you want. We have um, uh, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries in here. But they're all fresh, but they could be frozen. That's up to you. All right, we're gonna dump that in there. Whoop, get that in. And now uh, for the main ingredient, and that is for your power life. That's right, this stuff's Awesome, need to check this out. So Power Life, we are on the plant protein vanilla flavor. They do have whey protein as well, but whatever, we're going with the plant protein today, mixing it up. Trying to go a little more plant-based in our diet overall. We still have some whey protein. So we're gonna get a scoop of that, put that in. And you know, sometimes you just need a little more water, a little more liquid in there, it could be a little thick, right? So we have a just, you know, half a cup-ish of water. We're just gonna add a little splash, we might add a little bit as it goes on as needed. So let's see. We're gonna put on our top. That sounded wrong. There we go. Put it on, and let's make this thing go. Turn it on, pulse. That was awesome. All right, so let's check it out. We're gonna pop the top, do this. I'm gonna drink the rest of this water. Mmm, so good, I didn't need it. I'm just gonna drink it. So here we go. You ready? Ooh, yeah, baby! Look at that. Ooh, it's even like steaming a little. Even got a little extra, because that's always good for you. Oh, oh. Mmm! Berry-tastic. Try it. It's so good, so good. Mmm, I can't, I can't help. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I hope you're ready for the next one because the next one we're gonna fast forward a little bit to more of a fall flavor for all of us, and that is pumpkin pie. Raise your hand if you love pumpkin pie flavoring shakes. It's so good, coffee, mmm, delicious. We're gonna make it healthy. We are going to do a pumpkin pie protein shake. So, here's what you need. I'll show it to you as I put it in my blender. First, one cup of ice. Boom, then, a half of a banana, right? Again, frozen banana. You don't have to use frozen, but I use frozen. So we're gonna put that in there, boom. What I do is I cut my bananas into uh, quarters and I freeze them all, so that's why. That looks like that. What else do we have? Oh, we need milk. That's right, milk. We're going to add one cup of milk in there. It adds a creamy texture. Again, I'm using almond coconut milk. You use whatever you like, that's all good. Now, we need pumpkin. Now, I suggest a high-quality pumpkin. You could use your own if that's, if that's what you like. Bake it first so it's soft. All right, just get the pumpkin pie. I like Libby's, personally. And you'll want about two-ish tablespoons. Um, I like pumpkin flavor, so we are going to do, that's about one-ish, a little more. There's two, oh, we're only heaping two, so maybe that's more like three. But you do what you like, what works for you. Get off that food. There we go. I know I'm not alone having that issue. Okay, then, pumpkin pie spice. So, I have this in here. We're gonna, you know, put about, a teaspoon in, right? So we're just going to shake it a couple times, say, hey, that looks like about a teaspoon. 
and then I personally like cloves. So I'm adding just a little bit of cloves in there. Just real, like two shakes. You don't need much. There are some spicy things. I think that ended up being three because the first one wasn't much. And oh, you need cinnamon. Cinnamon. So just a, a dash of cinnamon in there. Boom. There we go. Dash cinnamon because the pumpkin pie seasoning already has some of that. And we can't forget our protein. Again, Power Life Plant Protein Vanilla Flavor. You can use the whey one. It doesn't matter. Or we're using Power Life. Kate, I should mention, we have a discount in the comments below or in the description below. Check it out. Get your discount so you can try Power Life. Because why not, right? It's delicious. It's good for you. I love it. All right. So let's throw got an extra ice cube. It was hiding. Okay. So let's put this on and let's blend it up. Turn it off. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Are you ready? It smells divine. Oh, so good. All right. Oh my gosh, I got a pumpkin thing on the outside for my fingers. Look how thick that is. It's not, oh, oh, let's see. See, that's thick. So what happens? Hey, this is a great learning moment. What happens when it becomes, get on there, Spencer. When it gets thick, you add water. So we're going to add a wee little bit of water. It only looks dirty, folks, because the pumpkin dripped into it before, so don't freak out. We're just gonna add a little bit of pumpkin, or a little bit of water to it, blend it up. This happens, right? So the banana was a little bit bigger than other ones I've used, so we needed um, needed water, right? Or maybe you want it thicker, so have it thicker, right? It's up to you. All right, now we added water. You can see it's already pouring easier out of here. So this is gonna be nice and thick. Oh, it's creamy. Yeah. Delicious. So we do a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and we taste it. Oh, it's like a vanilla pumpkin pie party in my mouth. Mm. Cheers. All right, for your third and final protein shake recipe, I'm sharing you one of my absolute favorites, absolute favorite shakes of all time, and that is chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, that's right, chocolate peanut butter, I love it. So, so good. So let's make this sucker, all right? Here's what you need. You need a cup of ice. Sounded kind of familiar, isn't it? You want frozen bananas. I have a half a banana. They don't have to be frozen, but they're good. Um, they help make it smoother, it's sweeter. I always like it. Um, you know, and so it's like a banana chocolate peanut butter, but I digress. Then a cup of milk. Now, if you'd rather not use milk, you know, I'm using almond coconut blend. You could use any type of milk, regular milk, coconut, almond, oat, I don't care. You could use water, but know that if you use water in any of these shakes, any of these shakes recipes, it's just going to be, it's going to not be as smooth. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just not going to be as smooth. So know that as you go in. All right, we have that. Now we're gonna add in our protein. Now this protein's different than the other two recipes. The other ones used vanilla. Now obviously we're using chocolate. Now we are using uh, Power Life by Tony Horton's High Impact Whey Protein, chocolate whey protein. Um, but they do have a chocolate vegan flavor, a plant-based one as well. Um, this is just one I have currently and that's open. So we're gonna use it. Again, trying to work to be more plant-based, but we have these things, we're just gonna use them because I don't like wasting stuff. So we're gonna use that. Now for the peanut butter. You have a couple options out there. There's this uh, PB Fit stuff, which is great. They take a lot of the fat away. It's less calories by a lot. Um, but I've noticed when I use it, it makes it a little grainier. Obviously, it's another powder you're adding, so that makes sense. And it's tasty. It works. But it's not the same as peanut butter. So if you can get real peanut butter, that's awesome. Or make your own peanut butter cool. Um, I personally like the natural stuff, right, over the not natural stuff. Um, so I love the natural uh, Jif, Gif, Jif, whatever, crunchy, this stuff. Um, this is my all-time favorite. Um, now the problem about this is it does have sugar, unlike regular stuff you make. So, anyways. Thanks, Vlad. He's excited. Can you tell? You want about two tablespoons, all right? You can use less. You could use more. But know that, obviously, with all peanut butter, it's a high-calorie item. So you want to be careful how much you put in. So maybe you want a little less. That's cool, all right? No worries. I don't know when that goes away, so. All right, let's throw on the top. Where is it? It's over here. And let's blend it up. Turn it on. And.
Now I will say this, I did add a little bit of water just to make it a little um, more liquidy, just so you know. So do what you need to do. You could have added more milk too if you want, that's fine. But, all right, so here we go. Check that out. Boom! It looks so good, doesn't it? Chocolate, banana, peanut butter. Mm. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh yeah, you're jealous. I know you are, it's okay. You get to make it your own. Get your own Power Life Protein and make these delicious things. Shakes, let's see how it tastes. like heaven. Oh, so, okay, okay hold on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm, -hmm, mm, -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Delicious. So good. So, I know I'm a little aggressive with it, but these are my three favorite protein shake recipes. I would love to know your thoughts about these shakes. Let me know which one's your favorite? Which ones have you tried? Drop in the comments. Let me know. Seriously, I will respond to you. I would love to know your favorite shakes. These are my top three. Very delicious, very delicious shake, right? You got your pumpkin pie and we got the chocolate peanut butter. Oh, 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 so good, so good. All right, I appreciate all of you watching. Let me know your favorite shake recipe in the comments below. And, you know, hit subscribe, hit like, share this video out on your social media channels so we can share the love of cool and different shake recipes and heck give power life a shot drop in the description and get some of your own all right everyone thank you so much for being here you are awesome you are amazing and until next time oh i'm gonna drink these babies up and we'll catch y'all later mm. oh my god yeah